For years, longtime St. Louisans have passed by this intersection and just shaken their heads. They saw empty buildings and remembered very different days. Well, things are looking up, and the intersection of Grand and Olive may have finally turned the corner. It was an evening of celebration, and St. Louisans of all ages turned out to witness the rejuvenation of one of the city's major intersections, celebrating the rebirth of the old Woolworth building as the new home of Big Brothers Big Sisters, and a center for the arts in the heart of Grand Center. A century ago, the corner of Grand and Olive was one of the busiest intersections in St. Louis, Horses, trolleys, pedestrians, and motor cars navigated the jammed streets of Midtown. Originally, the northwest corner was occupied by the Beers Hotel, a piece of Victorian gingerbread that burned down in 1931. The following year, the streamlined Art Deco Woolworth building was constructed and became a local landmark. In 1949, its segregated lunch counter was the site of one of the nation's earliest sit-ins. For the past decade, the building was an abandoned eyesore until Big Brother's Big Sisters chose it as its new home. Big Brother's Big Sisters started serving St. Louis youth 94 years ago. In its early years, it was called Big Brothers and matched male volunteers with what one article of the time described as boys of the problem type. The idea was to offer positive examples and guidance to help them develop character and grow into good citizens. In 1977, they welcomed girls into the program, and today Big Brothers Big Sisters of Eastern Missouri pairs boys and girls between the ages of 5 and 17 with men and women who volunteer to serve as friends, mentors, and coaches. As the need for their services grew, it became apparent that they would have to expand, and that would require construction of a larger facility. Four years ago, the board of directors decided that we were going to work toward serving 10% of the kids that were considered to be in the greatest need in this area, and that's about 100,000 kids. So we set a goal of serving 10,000 kids a year. And so in order for us to do that, it meant we needed to have a fiscal plan that could accommodate that kind of growth. In addition to Big Brothers Big Sisters, tenants include the Kranzberg Art Center with its black box theater and cabaret and a satellite branch of Craft Alliance, offering an art gallery, classes in fine contemporary crafts, and an artist-in-residency program. We visited the site last winter as construction crews took on the challenges of converting a 76-year-old retail space into a building with a variety of new purposes. I wish I could find a, a much more aggressive word than challenging. None of us were thinking about being in, in a historic gut rehab in the middle of Grand Center and trying to program a 60,000 square foot building. This building actually uh, follows Grand Avenue and Olive, so it's not a, the floor is not level, so we're running into a few little problems like in the theater, you know, you got to have a level floor, so just in the theater alone it drops eight and a half inches, so we got to level it out to put the flooring in. Uh, things that weren't originally planned to be done now we have to scramble and try to make it work, so things change almost daily. The other thing that was a real challenge is, structurally the thing was built, I believe, to support many more floors at some point in time. So the structural members, you know, we had to remove several of them to allow clear space for the theater. And, you know, so that's additional challenge. So you had a, a variety of those challenges. And just when you're, you're dealing with a building that's, you know, that old, you know, things are broken that you don't expect and you open up walls and... So those particular challenges are always present. Central to the renovation was the creation of a place that wasn't simply in Grand Center, but a part of the neighborhood. A place that would employ design to invite the outside world to become engaged in what's going on inside. It's essentially all glass. The Big Brothers walls are all glass. The Craft Alliance walls will be all glass. All the natural light will penetrate. Anybody from the street will see a very animated scene, which is another thing that was really important to the community is 
put life on the streets. We want to have people, the activity happening in Grand Center. And there should be something programmed here, you know, four, five, six nights a week. One of the very special pieces about this building is going to be the lighting package and the signing package. Um, so where you see the red band, that will be replaced with a black band. Um, there will be a lot of neon blue strips on there, gold letters with white neon. On the big round corner, it will say Big Brothers Big Sisters. And then on the grand side, it will have Cranzburg Art Center. One of the other cool pieces about this building is the lighting package we're putting on the third floor. Um, so there will be ever-changing uh, lights up there. Um, we're just going to be able to do a lot of things that will support um, the city and the Grand Center District. A celebration of another example of St. Louis building upon its past as it looks to its future. Expanding opportunities for its children while bringing more theater, music, and crafts to the region. And after years of neglect, today this historic building seems to embody Grand Center's claim to be the intersection of art and life. <laughs>